So I went to the post office, and there was a box waiting for me. Per usual, you know, sometimes there's boxes, sometimes there's not. And I'm like, oh, no, there's no mail this week. That's all fine. That's all good. This one comes from Charles from, I already threw away his shipping thing. I don't remember where he came from, because I'm, I'm awful like that. But I remember your name is Charles. At least I actually know the name this time. <laughs> oh, man, I'm awful. Anyways... Ooh, nicely packed. Ooh, bubbles. Yes, please. Oh, I actually might reuse those. Those are actually pretty good. I kind of have a lot of packing material, though. I don't really ship enough stuff to really, like, need all of it. <laughs> I see a lot of interesting things in here already. A lot of bubble-wrapped figures. I'm, I'm curious. Now, this letter does disclose the contents. I'm going to have to read it later. But, let's take a look now. Hey, JCC2224, I've been a fan of yours for a good few years now. You certainly inspired me to re rebuild my Star Wars collection after I sold most of it as a kid. Oh, no! Um, but on the bright side, I kept all my clone commanders, especially Commander Colt. Oh, yes. That's a good one to keep. Since then, I've amassed a huge collection of clones and various other Star Wars figures and other toy lines. Currently, I'm trying to get every Force Unleashed figure. Just need Shock T, which is pretty uh, egregious in price. I don't have Shock T, any of the Felutions, or the Mandalorian or Raxus Prime Star Killer. I'd love to get those someday. Yeah, they're hard to get. <laughs> Stormtrooper Commander. Oh yeah, that one hard. I think he's pretty hard too. TVC or Black Series Star Killer, and maybe the Kashyyyk pack. The Kashyyyk pack's pretty cool. My brother has that. Um, I've also been um, getting my dad into Black Series, and he's deep in the hole now, <laughs> buying everything he can. Besides that, though, um, I've just thrived on memeing on Hasbro Star Wars with all their dodgy repaints and the absolute abomination of how they handled that Rancor. Yeah, let's talk about that real quick. Um, I'm filming this after, I don't really make discussion videos, so I'll, I'll talk about it here. The HasLab Raincor failed. Oh my gosh. Hopefully that's a bit of a slap in the face to Hasbro. Like, get out of it. Like, snap out of it, dude. What are you doing? Hopefully that'll bring about that change, but I don't, I don't think it will, man. Hasbro Star Wars is so out of touch now. It is insane. They, why do we have to wait over a year to get figures from stuff that we saw, like, a year ago? When back in the day, it would be like, you know, this stuff's about to come out and say, here's Bo-Katan from the upcoming Mandalorian. Not like, here's Bo-Katan over a year after you saw her in the Mandalorian. <sighs> but anyways. <laughs> anyways, man, keep up the great work with your channel. Enjoy the figures and keep fighting the good fight for 3.75. Love, Charlie. Oh, Charlie, not Charles. I got the name wrong, and I'm just, <laughs> I'm just playing. On Instagram as Nice Pickle Hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cute name. Um, yeah, check out Nice Pickle Hobbies on Instagram. Okay, let's look at these memes. Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. <laughs> I just started reading it, then I realized what it was. And then Captain Fordo's going crazy over here. He's got the glowy eyes. Aw, oh, dude. We're already off to a great start. Let's take a look at what we got. So, oh my goodness. Oh, no. Big old Vader figurine. Oh my gosh. Big old weird Vader. What is this? 2004. Oh wow, it's actually kind of newer than I reckoned it would be. That's pretty neat. Big old Vader. I'm trying to cut back a lot of these weird, like, Star Wars-y things in my life. Um, but some of these are pretty cool. <laughs> um, like, I've been sent a lot of these kind of things. And, like, they are cool. It's like, yeah, it's, it's Han Solo. Um, but I am, I'm still deliberating on how I want to move some of this to, you know, homes that might appreciate it more than me, because, man, sometimes I just, I just can't. Um, because, <laughs> like, you know, it's, it's Galactic Heroes Han Solo, you know, everyone loves him, but, you know, where's he gonna go, dude? <laughs> I do really like these, though. At least gives me an awesome chance to, like, show him off and talk about him on camera. That's really cool, though. I dig that. I'm actually seeing a couple things in here that I already know I needed in my life. This guy, oh my gosh. Tongue-teasing Jar Jar. I did not have this figure, and now I do. And it may now be my favorite thing of all time. This is like when he was teasing uh, Sebulba, right? Oh my gosh. Dude, my life is complete now. I've never had this one. And now I do, and like, seriously, now I can have Jar Jar lick all of my figures. Like, Darth Vader comes in like, Jar Jar, you killed Padme, I'm blaming you for it now. Oh, Misa Licky! No! Yep, that's exactly how it went. 
I actually already have this one. <laughs> it's pretty neat, though, because it's a uh, Tartakovsky. It's so weird how they made a Galactic Heroes of Obi-Wan from the uh, from the Micro series. I wonder if his helmet's in here, because I don't have the helmet. But still, that's a pretty cool one. Actually, looks is it different from the one I have? I don't think so. It just looks kind of different. Man, these things are so goofy. I love them, though. Now, this is another one I don't think I have. I don't think I ever got around to getting... Um, he's got some scuffs on his face. I can probably get rid of those, though. Uh, this is Captain Antilles. You know, the same Antilles that we all know from uh, A New Hope, but as he was in Revenge of the Sith. Actually never got around to getting this figure. So does he have... Oh, he has his accessory, too. Awesome, dude. That's an addition to my collection. One of the few Revenge of the Sith figures I just never got around to getting for whatever reason. Thank you so much, man. And then, ooh, Snowplow. I think I already have Snowplow. Yeah, I already have Snowplow, but, man, it's Snowplow. Everyone loves Snowplow. It's good old Snowplow, dude. Might actually, um, I just love Plo Koon so much, I might actually, you know, I'll probably keep this around, might do a custom with him. Dude, that head, though. Dude, something about the animated Clone Wars style. Why did they do Galaxy of Adventures when they just could have done a line based off of this? Ugh, whatever, man, whatever. Ooh, Dark Maul. Actually, it's Darth Maul. <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, it's Darth Maul. He's, uh, I guess this is one that maybe rode his speeder. You know, he looks like he's riding something. I'm not going to make that joke. Anyways, let's keep on going. This is exciting. Ooh, Commander Bly. Man, I've, I've had a few of these now. <laughs> I've had a few of these Blys come through my my doors. I love this Bly, though. He's pretty cool. Might actually uh, keep this one around and just repaint it. Just because, you know, why not? Why not? I might keep that one around. Maybe give him a little uh, Captain Kill shot colors. Nah, probably not. No, my camera stopped. Dude, camera. This, this camera is killing me, man. Why is it? Still need to get a new tripod, by the way. Oh, what the? Oh, whoa. What the heck? Why do I feel like I should know what this is, but I don't? What is this? Why do I feel like I should know what this is? It's Marvel Legends, I think. Made in China. And then, yeah, Marvel Toys. Was this maybe Legendary Comic Book Heroes? Um, since it says Marvel Toys, what year was it? 2007, so this could be Legendary Comic Book Heroes. Or it could be someone from Marvel. I'm actually not sure. I've seen this guy. I've seen this guy before. I just, I don't know his name. I don't know who this is, but he is super cool, and I love him, and thank you so much. <laughs> he's, man, he's really Halloween-y looking. He might be like a Halloween decoration. Oh, man, I'm digging that. Look at that head. That's crazy. That's gnarly looking, dude. What else we got? Ooh, we got um an Aragorn. Ooh, I'm actually I was actually thinking about like, dang, I need a, a nicer like Strider looking Aragorn, and this one's pretty articulated. Wow, looks a decent amount like him. I, I they always struggled with Aragorn's likeness. Toy Biz, Toy Biz was pretty good with the likenesses, but I feel like Aragorn's one they always struggled with. Man, it's crazy how deep the Toy Biz line went. I swear they did so much. They really did so much in the Toy Biz line. It's almost as deep as, like, say, Playmate Star Trek or, like, you know, Hasbro 3 to quarter inch Star Wars. It's kind of nuts. And, oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. Hoodless Arkham City Azrael. Or Azrael. I I don't know. It's like, I used to say Azrael, but I'm kind of preferring saying Azrael for whatever reason. Hey, you ain't got no hood, but, I mean, it's, it's Arkham City Azrael, dude. That's pretty sweet. I do already have this one, because, I mean, it's freaking Azrael from one of my favorite video games of all time. Of course I have it. Oh, man. This makes you forget how good the, uh, um, the old, like, Arkham City figures were. Now, granted, not super articulated. Like, look at these legs, man. They're, they're not really the greatest. Like, they don't have any outward motion. They literally just go forward and back. They're super tight. Ooh, he's got all these little stringies on him, though. I'm sure a lot of people would use these for, like, custom belts. Like the uh, Mr. Sinister. A lot of people use old Toy Biz Mr. Sinister capes for custom belts. Now this, I'm definitely keeping as packing material, 100%. What else we got? Oh, here's another Aragorn. Ew! Toy Biz, ew! Oh my gosh, Toy Biz. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, thumbnail. 
this is the thumbnail right here that's that's the thumbnail <laughs> I, there's cool stuff in this box, right? But this is too silly to not... Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. So I'm going to have to pick uh, which Aragorn I prefer. Um, so, man, I, I really do like... I, I like these, man. I appreciate it. Oh, he's got articulated fingers, too. This one probably had, like, a bow and arrow, maybe, looking at his fingers. I mean, Toy Biz did some good stuff. I feel like the likeness on this one may be a little better. But that hair, dude, what were they thinking? Where's the other one? Yeah, this one has, like... Oh, he's kind of, it's softer too. It's softer, but it's not this soft. This is like pure, like actual just rubber. That's, that's hilarious. Okay, what else we got? Oh, wow. Ooh, okay. Oh, wow. These are, um, like Galactic Heroes, uh, speeder bike and a dewback. Okay, is this dewback newer or is it like from the old Galactic Heroes? 2008, so I would say older. Yeah, I mean, those are awesome. <laughs> I actually have a... I think these are the older Galactic Heroes. Um, like, these work with these ones. I think that's what... No, Obi-Wan has a little skirt. He's not really going to work. I don't know. Would it work with, like, these newer-looking ones? Like, Jedi Heroes? Because I have, like, a Sand Trooper from this line. So that might be cool. I know I have a, a Scout Trooper that'll go great with this. That's awesome, dude. Thanks. That's actually it's not bad looking. Look at the detail on that. It has, like, all the little recesses and, like, tan. Dude, that is not bad. I'm surprised. Asper does some good stuff when they actually give a crap. <laughs> okay, what else we got? Oh, wow. We're almost done here. But we have this. Danger! Let me decipher what this is from. 2008 Hasbro. Oh, this is G.I. Joe, isn't it? I think this might be G.I. Joe. Is this like a Rise of Cobra vehicle? I want to say yes. I want to say it's G.I. Joe. Is this G.I. Joe? Why do I want to say yes? I feel like this could be G.I. Joe, but... I'm not too familiar with like the little Rise of Cobra vehicles. Whatever that is, man, I dig it. I really dig that. It's actually really cool looking. <laughs> And there's a few other little things in here. More bubble wrap I'll definitely use. Oh, wow! A couple hologram figures. I've got tons of these now. I've got tons of these. But this is what I wowed about. Galactic Hero C-3PO. Man, look at how gold that is. Dude, that is insane. That looks really good. That's one I've definitely got to keep around for sure. I'm over here like I don't I don't want to have all these little tiny Star Wars guys anymore, but here I am like keeping pretty much all the stuff you sent me. <laughs> Dude, look at that. That's really cool looking. Man, that's awesome. Thanks, Charlie. I think we're about done. Yeah, that was it. That was it with the contents. Man, that's awesome stuff. I don't know what's my favorite. Let's bring the camera down a little bit. I'm sure the tripod will decide to just give out because it hates me. Do 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 do. So man, we got a couple Aragorns. I'll have to decide which one, one uh, which one I prefer out of those. That one's pretty silly though with the hair. There's Bly, there's Plo Koon. This on unironically might be one of my favorite things. I actually have one of that Jar Jar for a little bit. Vader's cool, the Dewback too. Oh, can Darth Maul ride the Dewback? Darth Dewback. Oh yep, look at that, perfect. And Azrael, that might be some pretty cool custom fodder. Um, this guy, oh my gosh, this guy. I feel like he might have something that goes on his head, too. Like, he might be missing an accessory that goes on his head, but you know what, man? I still love it. I still really appreciate it. And this is super awesome stuff. This really is. I'm pretty sure it's a G.I. Joe vehicle. You sent me some memes, dude. Like, yeah. This is an awesome box. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate this stuff. This is absolutely awesome. Ah, oh, dude. I can't even pick a favorite. There's some pretty neat stuff here. I'm really digging it. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Special sh thanks to Charlie for sending this awesome package. Again, check out his Instagram. Let me get it right there. Nice pickle hobbies. <laughs> check him out on Instagram. Uh, also, special shout out to the patrons of Patreon. You guys are super awesome. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Alrighty, there we go. Also, um... 
P.O. Box address. There you go. almost forgot that. <laughs> if you want to send anything in the P.O. Box, there you go. I will happily accept any donations. And if it's something that I do not feel is, uh, you know, welcome here. If I don't want it. If I think it's garbage. You know, I, I like moving things along. I'm still thinking, still deliberating on how I want to move a lot of, because I have so much stuff you guys have sent me. I have a lot. I have multiple boxes at this point of things that you guys have sent me where it doesn't necessarily have a place in my collection. And it's like, you know, I want to make sure this goes to a home that will appreciate it. And it's not in just a box anymore, you know? <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you all so much. Have a good one. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.